Hello, and welcome to Under the Hood with Logic IO, our monthly series where we take a deep dive into how Logic IO supports configuration across industries and use cases. Today, we'll be looking at how Logic IO combines attribute based and product based configuration with our latest feature, Product Picker. My name is Emma Gaquin. I'm the director of demand generation. And here with us today is Sam Chuck, a product manager here at Logic IO, who will be guiding us through our demo later on. To set the stage, I'll first discuss how Logic IO views attribute and product based configuration and a nod to our product picker functionality. Sam will then show us product picker live from the end user experience. Then we'll take questions from all of you. Few housekeeping notes before we get started. This webinar is being recorded and will be shared to your inbox within 24 hours for you to review and share with your friends and colleagues. Again, we will be taking questions from you all. So feel free to use that Q&A box throughout the session. I'll answer them personally um, if they are you know, relevant to just your use case or your company. I'll read them aloud at the end if it seems something that's gonna be interesting to everyone. So please engage ask us questions. And let's open the hood. Many of you may be aware that Logic IO thrives in attribute-based configuration, which is one of the main two schools of thought in the configuration space. Attribute-based configuration flips the buying process by focusing first on the buyer's needs and desires through questions or guided prompts, and then leverages preloaded system logic to scan the product catalog to configure a perfect fit solution for your customer. As B2B buyers have developed a B2C buyer mentality, we've seen attribute-based configuration support their needs for a self-educated and faster buying process. We found it best to use attribute-based configuration when there is a unique customer requirement, personalization is required, there's a high level of attribute features and options within the product catalog, or when there's a high cost of customization. Product-based configuration has been the precedent in the CPQ and e-commerce space. Sales reps are able to find and select products and services using SKUs in an existing product catalog. This configuration assumes that the buyer has an existing solid knowledge base about the business and the product at hand. Outside of direct sales, product-based leaves some room for growth. However, we do see product-based configuration is useful when the product has defined variants, the products are more simple, and there's standard configurations. We've worked with customers um, here at Logic IO who are leaning into attribute-based configuration and many who also want to stick with product-based configuration and find it useful when the bulk of their products are more simple. But we know that they would be even more powerful if we could only work in that attribute-based flexibility. That's why we built Product Picker. We released it last month. So as you start to take a look at Product Picker, um, within Product Picker, you'll have product options and bulk actions that are attributed to a small piece of your layout, which means a super simple admin and product selection within Logic IO. Product Picker adds additional flexibility with your attribute-based configuration an easier migration path for simple products that do not require advanced configuration. So it makes them easy to move from your original configuration tool into Logic. And it also gives us faster configuration. We realize that businesses don't need attribute-based configuration for every product, and that Product Picker is the perfect way to address those needs. Our customers are seeing success with attribute-based configuration where their inputs will drive them towards the perfect pit fit product or solution. There are certain products where you don't want or need to put in inputs in order to find. And this is where Product Picker comes in. Here you can see at a high level, attribute-based configuration compared to Product Picker. So on the left side, the product catalog is simple and you don't need to comb through a ton of SKUs related to the quote line item. It's just giving you the correct product. Whereas on the right, you can see a list where the user is able to select within the product picker. So it's without any need of additional data. The goal is that you'll have the power and flexibility of attribute-based configuration with the structure of product picker. Product picker is flexible enough to fit your use case, whatever that may be. 
In this case, you're going to see that a singular attribute and the configuration and within the configuration engine is eliminating options that don't fit the requirement, which is going to narrow down the options, but the user is still able to make the final choice that works best for them. This is a blend of attribute-based configuration, guided selling within a, the solving engine, in addition to a simple selection process. And that's why our customers needed something like Product Picker and why we ended up building it. Now, for the fun part of our session, we're going to take a look at a live demo of Product Picker's functionality. And I'm going to hand the screen over to Sam. Awesome. Thanks, Emma. So... Starting off up at the top, I've got guided selection being driven by some of those attributes. Once again, changing my budget is going to filter those available options in real time, and I can see all of my available options changing as I adjust my budget. I can also see all of the components. I need to make some required selections for processors, memory, storage, and I also have the option to select a graphics card. Now, Based on my chosen attributes, I can also uh, change what I might be able to select. So going through, and if I wanted to pick a desktop, I've got the full range of components that I can select here. Logic's attribute-based configuration engine is going to automatically add those products into my uh, list of items that I'm purchasing. But if I changed my mind and instead wanted to select a laptop, I can see both my uh, option to select a graphics card disappeared, as well as my uh, products changed to be a laptop PC along with an included charger here. With Product Picker, I've got that fine-grained control over selecting individual uh, pieces of my computer. So I could go through and select a specific processor that I had in mind. Um, but instead of having to make all of these required selections myself, I could instead choose to rely on Logic's attribute-based configuration engine to help me select the products based on the needs that I am going to be using this computer for. So for example, I just need this for some basic office work. So Logic's attribute-driven configuration is going to automatically select some of those options for me. So I've got my dual core processor, I have memory as well as a hard drive selected. Now, maybe I want to add some additional memory. So I can see I still have that option to adjust those pre-selected options, but I can see that I've got a real-time uh, information alert that's giving me uh, the detail that the memory is going to work best when everything's the same capacity. So I'm going to opt for just the 16 uh, gigabyte uh, RAM this time. And as I adjust the quantity, my total RAM capacity is also updating in real time. So I've got that insight into the overall summary of what my uh, configuration is going to be once I have made all of my selections. Now, when we have things like those simple products that don't have additional configuration required, I think about you know, accessories that might be included with any kind of purchase. So here I've got options for my mouse, my keyboard, as well as additional monitors that once again, I can immediately add into my item list when I'm ready to check out. So you can see Logic has the flexibility now combining both attribute-based configuration along with our new product picker functionality that really provides that flexibility for administrators to design those experiences and end users to navigate based on that perfect combination of both.